good Saturday morning. Saturday the 27th and we're back, as I said Saturday. Alex is in, in for half a day because he's going to his pals later on. So he's going to set me up and then get picked up by his mum. So we're going to load some bricks out. Once the gate's open, Alex can get some water and get the mixer out and get a mix in. Now I'm going to nip to Fairwoods and pick up some more tarmac. I think we're going to need more than four bags. Because it's quite a big, uh, quite a big mess that. Uh, so I'll pick another, probably another three up. And some stones, we can stone it up so it's not, not all tarmac. Um, yeah, that's it. There's our height, there's our oversailer. And pillar comes up another four yet. Yeah we're going to go above our blue brick and edge a bit higher like that and also I need to pick up uh, the pier caps from Hughes Grey and some black dye because we uh, we like to put black dye in the blue engineering bricks it just gives it like a little bit of a contrast looks nice because it obviously dries grey never stays black so um, yeah that's it let's get loaded out and I'll get I'll get off to him um, up to the fields and get, uh, get our supplies. rocking my own tunes while uh, dad's gone so dad has gone to go and pick up some more tarmac some stone and uh, the pier caps the stone to back for around here before we tarmac because there's a big gap there so we're stone it up and then tarmac it and then obviously the pier caps oh and to get some black dye because um because we're using blue engineering black dye goes nice with it but uh he left me to do the mix and um, we forgot to take the cement out of the, out of the van, so I can't really get a mix on with no cement, can I? That's a schoolboy error of ours. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to keep loading out for now. Then I've um, got the spot board set up. Well, I've got the stand set up. I've got the board set up at least. And now I just keep loading brick because um, it'd be a very crap mix if it's just a load of uh, wet sand in a mixer, isn't it? So. We will uh, see you when he comes back, and then, then I will get the mix on. See you then. Okay. While the while the camera's not been filming, I've done a bit of sorting out, if you will. Got the next bar ready, and I've done some stacks there. Oh, that's just come back. Got two stacks there, and I've got one to do just behind there. But the main thing I've done is I've gathered all the dud bricks, and put them into one stack. So now. That's all the bad ones, that's all the good ones. So when Dad needs to load out, if he does later on, you know, you can just go from that pile and we're good to go. Right, now Dad's back, I can get a mix on. Let's get started. You got the mix in. Just the slightest little thing can derail in the day and put you back half an hour. But, there we go. Lines are up with our good old Fitz mix. And uh, as you can see, I've got my uh, my bricks ready for my side. Because I don't know if you've been seeing on the videos, but it makes life a lot easier if I stack them here. And I can just work on this side and work against my hand. Which I prefer doing on walls like this. So yeah. Let's get started.
Please bet tell me if we get butt hurt about your tapping. <laughs> that really gets people upset that. So one more course and then it's over sailors.
Right, 11.28. Oh. Balls just collapsed. That can go in the skip then. Our balls are disintegrating because they've been wet from one to the other end. So we've lost a couple. They were frozen, they were wet, and now they're uh, suffering. It's always speedboard, isn't it? So they don't last long anyway. We've had our use out of them. Because we got them for nothing anyway. So, there you go. We're up to... We're, someone forgets to press record, probably me. But the oversailers are on. Obviously all these joints in the tidying up, but... That's a fiddly arse bit done. Alex just uncovered the bricks ready for loading out. He's going to start jointing up because his mum arrived about 20 minutes ago. But she's gone off to get a coffee from the spa. So while she's uh, waiting for her to come back, I'm just going to get a few other bits done. I don't think I've got enough mortar mixed. I've got to get four cores on each end of the pillar. So I'll have to mix the white mix and then add the black to it after. So yeah, made up with that. Cus, cus, uh, seen it, both, both couples, all four people love it, which is always a bonus. So um, it's basically I've got the whole afternoon now to get the blacks, the blues with the black mortar in, which is about just over 90 bricks. So I can just put it along with that. And when I do do that, I'll just have my board and my hop up and I'll work from this side because you want to put your brick and work like that. Otherwise you're working all cack-handed. So if you're right-handed, you want to push towards your right. So it's just natural stance then. So um. Once I've got my pillar up and get me a couple of brick and edge on it and pull the line through with the, with the fixed bricks then, the penny clamps, which I'll show you when we do it. So yeah, made up. Nice Saturday, so Alex is off soon and I'm staying for the rest of the day to get finished. And once that's done, um, the uh, landscapers can come and get that hedge out and start on the two driveways. And what I'll do is um, I'll record that after to show you in the video. So yeah, after today, Matt the customer's going to help me into the van with the boards. What, what boards we've got left? I think it's just these ones now. And then um, we're going to come back, get, get give the brickwork a good wash, get all these stains off it and bits of mud and that, and the paper, and get some hardcore up down here, some stone, which I might do today, and then get the tarmac done. We've got six bags now. I picked up another two bags because I, I didn't want to run out. So hopefully that's enough. We've got the tax spray and we've got uh, the heat gun, so we're going to heat it up, get it in and get the back on it, make a nice job of it. So by the time we finish, it's going to look lovely. So yeah, uh, let's get this corner up, this, this corner up, and let's see, let's see how we get on. Right, things have slowed down now, <laughs> mainly because I'm building pillars. There's our pier cap. Lights installed, got the light case. Um, both the piers are up. So basically that's the reds finished, and that's how much mortar I'd left over. I was really sweating there. And that's only because I've scraped all the muck out of here, and every bit I can find spur. 
That's what happens when you do someone a good turn. Someone, a guy stopped and said, Can I buy, buy some more trophy? He said, Yeah, I was a fiver for a bucket of mortar. It's not just out yourself. And that bucket of mortar has cost me. <laughs> but at least he got sorted because he went past and beeped on his way home anyway. He's gone home. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to have my dinner now. It's about one o'clock. Alex is long gone now, he should be halfway to Liverpool. So, yeah. I'm going to get me dinner because I've got a drink there and as soon as I've had my dinner I'm going to get a mix on in black and get this back and edge on so still still got a busy afternoon ahead but um, it's definitely broke its back and um, like I say customs are made up with it so there's a, the almost finished article and then just got the two uh, pier cats to, to plop on each end so I'll catch you after my lunch Two o'clock. <laughs> Nearly six years and still feel weird talking on the cam in the camera in front of people. Right, of course we've just gone to sh gone to do the shopping. This is where we're up to. One pier cap on. Four brick and edge on ready. So we need to get a couple on so we can get the fits pick on so we can get a line on the back. Because you definitely want two lines on brick and edge. A lot quicker, a lot easier. So, and I'm jointing as I go. As you can see, it's going off quite a bit. Here's our mortar, all set up at this end. We're going mobile down here. Bricks in the barrow, work our way along. A lot easier when you're working on your Todd. So we've got a brew there. All my gears are here ready. So um, let's crack on.
what is it? Wednesday the 31st? Almost the end of January. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Uh, yeah, we were supposed to be here yesterday, but um, we had a bereavement in the family yesterday, so we were at hospital yesterday. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've seen this since the pitch black when I finished it by torchlight, so it doesn't look half bad considering it was done in the dark. So what we're here to do today is give it a quick brick wash, get a few stains and stuff off it. Give it a rub down, get any snots off, get these stains off. There's bits of stains and stuff. And the main job is get the tarmac done. We've um, brought some petrol, bought a lighter, which felt a bit strange, buying a lighter. And um, we're gonna do like a couple of people told us in the comments and I've seen on a video is, is um, cut the tarmac open, stick a bit of petrol and set fire to it so it's, um, it's pliable and usable. We've got five bags but I reckon we're gonna run out so I'll just go and get some more. We're gonna make it up with stone and just put a thin layer of tarmac in. There's no need to put all tarmac in there. So that's the plan for today. Job and knock and then we're gonna to head towards Sarah's garage and give that a tidy up while we've got the spare day. We've had a job fall through this week. Um, we're doing a porch but they're having a garage conversion done at the same time and the, the two, scaff two scaffold poles in the front are currently sat on our concrete foundation. Which is a bit of a pain but uh, I think it's Monday we're going get, to get to get on that. So let's get set up and get this thing sorted. Can I just say, I gave the pack out radio a good clean the other day, took it in the garage, and while I was working around, I didn't realise it's got six speakers, two at the front, two at the sides, and two at the back, so um, quite prop, quite literally surround sound, so you can have it stood up or sat flat, but sat flat is obviously the best, best radio we've ever had that, and the fact that it's pack out is even better, fantastic radio that, but anyway, back to the job. Nice little brick light in there, fits beautifully. And uh, Alex has just um, put some stone in for the hardcore, ready for the tarmac. And then we're going to start having a fire. We've still got two bags in there, you know. Or have you got them out? Are we putting that many in? Yeah, we need, we need that much tar tarmac that thick. Yeah, yeah. okay. So there you go. Okay. We're going to get this tarmac done now. Sprays the joint, sprays on top of the cobble to help things stick. Friction in cold joint sealer and tack coat. So it gives a good seal between the old and new tarmac. We've, I've gone along and brushed the edge with the 
I've got to go and brush the edge, clean the edge with the brush. So you've got tarmac to tarmac. Put this stuff in, give it a bit of a seal. We're going to do what we've been going to do for something for the first time. Open up the set fire and see what happens. Because it's um, it's still about six degrees today, so it's very cold. So we're going to see what happens. We've got a heat gun just in case, but I think we're just going to do the petrol and um, petrol and match to see how that works. We've been told by a few people to do that, and um, I've seen that on YouTube as well. So let's give it a go.
nice uh, 10 past 1 finish that was, and I'll let the results speak for themselves. And that, that's how long it's been. It's um, not even sinking in. There you go. One nice little, well, pretty decent garden wall. En red engineering, blue engineering toppers. Nice matching um, pair caps. And then just to finish off a little uh, tarmacking. Which when you look at it now, you really need it doing. You couldn't just like put more through that and call it a day. So at least it's a proper job. So, yeah, there you go. That is one nice wall. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you always know when we upload next. It's always a massive help. Yeah, so I don't even know if that's working or not. And we appreciate the support. Um, any extra support you want to give, which isn't necessary, you can do the super thanks under the video or there's a link to Dad's PayPal in the description. No, again, not necessary, but it's greatly appreciated. So, thank you very much for the continued support. This is Brick Lane with Steve and Alex. Very satisfying finish there with a nice garden wall. And we'll see you in the next one.